The Evo 4 includes Loopback, which allows you to route your DAW audio out into OBS, Streamlabs, or other screen capture or streaming software. We'll use Pro Tools and OBS, but you can use any DAW in screen capture software. Make sure the Evo is the playback engine for your DAW. The Evo 4 can be the playback engine for your OS, but it doesn't have to be. I'll leave mine set to speakers. Go to your tray and right click the Evo icon. Set the loopback source to main output one and two. In your screen capture or streaming software, we need to create an audio input capture. And I'm assuming you already have a display capture set up. If not, right click in sources and add a display capture to record or stream your screen. Then in OBS, right click in sources, add and select audio input capture. Name it DAW Audio and click OK. Use the drop down for device and select Loopback 1 2 Audient Evo 4 and click OK. Now play back a song in your DAW and you'll see the input in OBS. If you want to record a microphone at the same time, you have a couple options. You could set up a track in your DAW with the proper input for your mic. Add any plugins you want, and the microphone will be captured, plugins and all, in OBS on the DAW audio track. However, if you are recording and want a separate mic track to adjust later, you can create another audio input in OBS. Name it Microphone. Set the device to the input your mic is plugged into. Since we are plugged into input 2, we choose Mic Line 2 Audient Evo 4. Be sure to adjust the input gain of your mic and you should see your mic input in OBS. To make sure you are recording your audio to separate tracks in OBS, click Settings, Output, go to Advanced, click the Recording tab, and select the amount of tracks you want. I'll use three one for each source. Keep in mind, this is not for streaming. You would only do this if you want to record your screen and have separate audio tracks to adjust later in a DAW or in LE, like DaVinci Resolve. If you don't need to adjust your audio later, one audio track is enough. Click Apply and OK. Then click any gear icon and choose Advanced Audio Properties. Set the audio sources to separate tracks. And close the window. If you need to hear your microphone in your headphones while recording, adjust your input monitor on the Evo 4 in order to hear the DAW audio and mic audio through your headphones. You can also hear computer audio through your headphones if the Evo is set as the playback source for Windows. If you'd like to add a webcam, Click the plus icon in Sources and choose Video Capture Device. Name it Webcam and click OK. Then select your webcam, adjust any settings and click OK. You can then position and resize this window. When you're ready, press Start Recording to record your video. If you're streaming, be sure to set all your audio tracks to one, because when you're streaming, all audio is combined into one stereo audio track. Then click Settings, Output, Advanced, Streaming tab, and make sure your audio track is set to one. There is a lot more to learn about OBS and Streamlabs, so I'd suggest watching some of our other videos to get up to speed. But this is more than enough to get you started with the Evo 4.